Incremental greetings. Let's continue with the Super Memo course, the pleasurable expansion. Now it's time for styling Super Memo, specifically the default, which is a styling sheet CSS, which is called Super Memo.css. In fact, it's like the default file that is used. Here it is, it's this one. I have more copies and so on. The original, because I modified that. It's this file. That means that this is a shared across collections. Because look what it is. It's in the bin folder, not in the systems. So all of your collections will be pointing to the same default styling. And if I open this, here you have what's called the CSS programming language. Well, markup language. It's very basic. You can learn this in very easily in a few hours. You can customize the background color, the color, font family, the size, all of the cosmetics. Sadly, Super Memo is very limited. There are many things that are not supported at all. Then, this is the advanced view. In Super Memo, you have a more user-friendly approach first. Let, let's cover this first before I, uh, I continue. So, um, what we're going to do now is create templates because the custom templates suck. By the way, this is the wrong collection I'm here. This is my collection. So, let's go back to the collection I'm here. This is my collection so let's go back to our collection okay now you can see that this looks very bad so I'll be giving you um, I made a sp and in this case is a custom style sheet that means when you have a template and you have a component that can link to this. But I want first to cover the original. I think he doesn't cover that specifically. No worries. So in this case, if I go to toolkit, options, and a style sheet, it's this one. Then I can modify the font, the font color, background, very basic. And then for each class, what you see here, it's a class. The highlight color, when it's uh, extracted, you will have this color. Uh, when you have the highlight or the search, the reference, what you see uh, below, let me see. Just as an example. Okay. So that's the color I have for the, the extract. That will be the color for the highlight. Let me see it. I usually don't highlight here. Highlight, nice. That will be the ignore color. Here you go. Do you see it looks in a certain way? And then the close elision. Usually it's orange. All of this is found in this file. So it's here. C super memo bin super memo dot CSS. Which by the way, it's not there. It's not here. Look at this. This is users. It's my custom uh, directory where I have my collection. But this is in, is in the installation. So I will need to go here. Super memo and bin. It's actually this one. And somewhere I have some some errors, like I think it was a dollar or something like that. So if that's the case, I will just close this. Okay. Then that's the one I want from my collect my own collection. Then I go back to Super Memo Bin, and I replace it. That's the one I wanted. Let's see what happens now. Yep. Do you see it's already different? because it's dark mode. So still there are the same colors, at least it's, it's still orange, but it's dark mode. And if I go to the pattern, you see the colors, 
more or less are the same, but they ignore the font size is even smaller. How I did that? Well, again, you could use the built-in uh, editor, but uh, it's quite limited. For instance, the spacing between lines is cannot be uh, done here. You have the sample how it looks for every single one, but if you click on edit, it edits, it uh, opens this on Notepad, and you can modify line height 1.6 and whatever. This is more advanced. Feel free to watch my videos about the styling. I have quite a few from the early stages. But the point is that now if I change my collection, let me go to priorities. In this case, it's a good example because it's empty. That means that as soon as I create anything, so I will just import self-directed learning article. Is the first thing I have in my collection and look at the styling. Why am I having this styling if in this collection I haven't specified anything? Because it's using the default precisely for this. Because I didn't specify text, style. I didn't link any style. It's using the default style. And if I go and edit file, it's the same thing. Supermemo.css So I can access it from here, from the right click on the component. Or toolkit options, fonts, and style sheet, and the, then edit. Same same thing. In the coming videos, we will see how you can have more than one, because doesn't mean that if you have a template, this will have certain styling. They are complete different things. You have what's called the template registry, the style registry, and then. On a template, components can link to one specific style registry member. So, see you in the next video.